Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and this is episode 9. Let's go! Morning, Pika. Wonder who that is. And as you see, it's Jumpluff. Hello, Jumpluff. As you see right here, it's Jumpluff from a few episodes ago. He wanted to help with his other friend to get his friend down. He's like in the rocks and he gets the wind. As we see, Sifty isn't back yet. That's pretty worrisome. It seems to be an easy mission. No wind is blowing. It's really weird because you think that in a thunderstorm there'd be a lot of wind, but there's nothing. Now the Sifty could help, so that's really weird. Very strange, very strange indeed. I see we both have determination in our eyes. We're gonna take care of this. No problem. Yes, let's go. So we're heading to the Silent Chasm, which is where Jump Pluff is stuck and where Sif Tree has got lost in, apparently, according to Jump Other Jump Pluff. See it's a big canyon, huh? Pretty steep. But that's not a problem for us. I'm very lost in there. So it's gonna be okay. We're about to go. Huh? What? What? What is it? It's very silent. So there is a mysterious monster in this cavern. Very secret Pokemon. If you play the game already, you probably know who it is. But I don't want to spoil it yet. And you used to see Pikachu is very very, very worried. You like silly willy. You're a stomach ache. Trying to fake out. But we're okay. As you see, he's getting upset because we do not take his cues very well. But who cares? No being silly willy. We gotta go save this jump fluff. Faker. Making the jump fluff worry about you. He doesn't know what the monster is. This is just folklore. But we're gonna find out soon. There's ten floors. Jump up is on the tenth floor. We're heading down nine floors down. So yeah. You got your DC. We're swarmed by a bunch of enemies. Ursaring, D Vulture, Teddy Ursa, and Yamna. This is kind of a hard dungeon if you have grass types, because there's a lot of bugs and other kind of grass and fire. So it takes a while to get through if you have that. But if you have a fire type, you should be able to go through pretty fast. You see, I already leveled up. And Teddy Ursa has a lick and scratch. It's not too bad, but you can be really annoying if you don't manage your stuff well. These are the main few of the many enemies in this game. See, he's leads you to just take care of that. And actually, I played this quite a few times. But however, it's easy for me to forget a little bit of where I'm going. And so sometimes you'll see me stutter around. Even though I have played this, I'm not playing this completely blind. I did play ahead on a practice trial run and their previous recording. So we're trying to check for items in here, but nothing down here. So we're gonna continue on our main journey. And see there's a gloom. Gloom can be really really annoying as we'll see later, most likely. But I really, really dislike gloom so many times. What's the next level? This isn't too long of a dungeon. Heck with the tackle. And I swear, tackle doesn't do so much damage later in the game. I need to check on what levels 
He learns new moves. From what you get, Pikachu. Yamcha. Yamna. Huh. Yamna goes on really easy. Like a Yamcha. Yamcha always die. Pretty shameful. We're gonna go through this quickly. Do more espionage. And go past. And here's our first sighting of Gloom. Oh, Gloom, I hate you. See, Gloom uses a lot of absorb. It takes a lot of damage, actually. And Thunshock doesn't kill it as fast because it's a bit resistant, I believe. That grass and electric don't have the type of advantaging of each other or whatever, but. More Teddy Ursus. We'll pick up a special band. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that special band right now. Oh, I actually forgot to mention the music from the cutscene before we got into the cavern. I really love that song. The song is really, really well composed, in my opinion. It's really kind of upbeat. Can we want to sing along with the song? I think the soundtrack for the whole game is pretty, pretty impressive. I really enjoyed it. So take care of this Yamcha right here again. And here's another Pokemon, Farfetched. And I really hate Farfetched in this dungeon. Cause I'm a Grass type, and it its move set. Oh no, Pika died. What a waste of a Reviver Seed. And then there's Farfetched. It's really annoying with its Sand Attack, which helps lower the accuracy of your moves. Plus Peg. It may not hurt Pikachu as much, but for me, as a grass type, it's just treacherous with damage. So we try to sneak past this Ursa wearing the Evolution. Teddy Ursa. I don't know why I want to keep calling it Teddy Ursa's Ursa Ring, but I don't know. But this is a pretty quick little level right here. Bunch of little items, berries, pokies. This is even quicker, right there. Actually, the arranging of this run through of the thing actually helped a lot. Here's our another friend, Houndour. Houndour, I was afraid it would have fire moves, but I didn't see any of them use on me. And it goes on pretty quickly, so I guess if you don't stall out too much, you can get through it pretty quickly with a grass type. But I'll probably recommend like a fire. But I need to pick a really good partner, typing-wise, so it might just be me having a tough time on it. I believe this is the one I got lost on a lot, because it's so hard to remember exactly where to go, that might take the long way sometimes. And I realized I never explained Wonder Tiles. Wonder Tiles help return your stat back to normal pretty much. So say you had lower accuracy or a lowered evasion rate, you could use that to kind of get back into your normal states and everything. But see Gloom goes on there easy. I'm not doing too bad right now. I could be doing much worse. Yeah I'm a bit lost, but I could do worse. It's so funny because I learned the short ways, and it just kind of escapes me the way I gotta do the next stage again. But as I missed behind there, the dust ox, which can be a little iffy if you're not careful, because it does have confusion, which does affect me because I'm a poison type. Halfway. And it's a paras, which isn't too hard. They're not really that powerful or have a lot of HP, so they get on pretty quickly also. But aren't you guys ready to see that mysterious Pokemon? I am ready. I'm pretty ready for it. Getting more comfortable and everything. So they're pretty good. This is a special band. So I'm gonna get rid of this plane seed. Go pick up this special band. 
Cause I thought bands help increase. So I'm assuming by the name, it increases your special attack. But I'll that up a little bit more. Here's an message I seem to have looked like I got lost on. Cause there's a lot of branches. There's a lot of branches in this. But you see that's the last level we have to go through. And we're already to the cutscene area. And there's a friend, Jumpluff. But what's wrong with him? Seems a bit down and kind of scared. He saved you, right? But Sifty's in the back of the room. Wonder why he's still back there. So anything's wrong with him? Did you forget about him? That's kind of weird. Why would you say forget about him? Wait, there's no light. So that's one now. Oh, here comes the legendary. Oh yes, it's him. The wonderful Zapdos. Isn't it amazing? But wait, Sifty disappeared. And apparently, it had go up Mount Thunder to save him. I guess he was waking from his sleep by a lot of different things. And Sifty just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But at least he saved our friend. And we'll get to Sifty, don't worry. We'll save him. So he whipped the wounds up. And jump off the release. But then, Zapdos came. Who's that? Oh, it's Alakazam. I wonder what he's doing here. We're aware of that. It's very natural, actually. I wonder what caused all the natural disasters in the first place. I like how his terminology and everything is really kind of funny. Like, he says wicked, nasty, and everything. He's kind of like the surfer kind of dude in a way. And Alakazam, again, calls us weak. But we're not scared of anything. Electrical blast, I scoff at that. Don't worry about it. It's kind of our obligation to help him anyway. Alright, we got approval. So yeah. Pretty good episode. I'm very excited too. And we accomplished the mission. So I'm gonna save right here. And I'm gonna end this episode right here. Comment in the bottom what I could do better. And next episode, we will tackle Mount Thunder and save Sift Tree. Have a nice day.